Time seems to be passing so much more quickly these days. This is something that we've probably heard countless times from the adults around us when we were children, and that we didn't really understand or relate to at that age. As the years pass by, however, we realize that we're beginning to feel exactly the same way. It can be at once surprising and terrifying to realize just how much time has passed by, and how it continues to race ahead of our expectations, dreams, and ambitions. Considering that time is quite literally our existence, it's natural to wonder why this happens. So, why do we have the feeling that time is passing by faster than ever? If you have an inquisitive and curious mind, then you've come to the right place. Please subscribe to this channel to be informed, intrigued, and fascinated. For something that is so measured and calculated, our perception of time is surprisingly subjective. When we're sitting through a calculus lecture or waiting for a friend in the car, even the seconds scroll by at a painfully slow pace. When we're doing something we love, such as painting or sports or being with our loved ones, however, we glance at the clock thinking that a few minutes have passed by, only to realize that it's actually been hours. Something that appears to be practically universal amongst humans is the feeling that in the past, the years, months, and even days just stretched out endlessly before us. Unlike now, these days it couldn't be more different, and there never seems to be enough time for us to do everything that we need or want to do. It can seem strange because according to the clock, there is a precise interval between each and every second that has remained unchanged for as long as we can remember. The chronological passage of the hours, days, and months is a phenomenon that we can depend and rely upon for accuracy. However, our mind measures time very differently to a clock, and here lies the answer to our question. As mentioned before, our perception of time is constantly shifting, depending on the activity we're engaged in, our physiological states such as our energy or hunger levels, as well as the people we're with. Age is another influential factor, and one which shapes our perception of time the older we get. The feeling that time passes by faster as the years go by is one that has been documented and researched extensively in the field of psychology, but a conclusive and definitive answer has never been discovered so far. It's for this reason that this question is perhaps one of the most elusive mysteries about the experience of time. Still, there are some convincing theoretical explanations that can be explored. One of these is that we perceive time from two different perspectives. One is prospective, where we estimate the length of an event, such as a lecture or a concert, whilst it is unfolding. The second perspective is retrospective, which happens after the event has ended and is based on memories. This retrospective perspective is the one that is really important to our discussion. The more memories we keep, the more likely we are to perceive an event as having lasted longer when we look back at it retrospectively. Obviously, an adult in their 40s is going to have amassed many more memories than a child or a teenager, or even someone in their 20s. It makes sense then that they will feel their experiences from the past happened much more slowly than they are in the present, primarily because a few days, weeks, or months is negligible compared to 40 or more years. Another important variable is that our brain will store exciting or unfamiliar experiences as memories rather than familiar or routine ones. From childhood to early adulthood, we're experiencing countless events and learning crucial skills for the first time. As we progress into adulthood, we inevitably settle into a more mundane and regular routine. It's because of this that our earlier years are usually overrepresented in our memories compared to our later ones, and the more memories that we have about an event or period in our lives, the longer it will seem to have lasted. One interesting insight that we could perhaps take from this is that it may be possible to manipulate our perception of time later on in life. Through finding and creating exciting and memorable experiences, we can successfully change our perception of time by continually learning, exploring, and keeping our mind and body active. If you found this subject as fascinating as we did, then please like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more thought-provoking discussions.